Welcome to our CapDivision Plus software tutorials. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to use the live image stitching function in CapDivision Plus. Before you start your stitching experiment, be sure to use white balance and flat field correction to provide the best possible images. So here in your capture tab is image stitching live. This is the function we're going to uh, learn today. The options you have here are stitching speed, high quality or high speed. I'm going to choose high quality. Before I start stitching, I want to make sure that I can see as much of my specimen as possible. So I'm going to choose display and fit. Okay, now I know that my image is fitting in this window. The next step, move to a corner of your specimen. Make sure that you focus, and you may want to adjust focus uh, throughout your stitching process. Click Start Stitching. It wants to make sure that you are imaging at least 50 milliseconds or, or faster. Click OK. You get the live window on the left, and then this is the buildup of your stitching on the right. Move slowly. You can see the yellow window is the frame of the camera as it moves up and it begins to add to the, uh, the stitched image. Make sure that there's always some overlap. You see, it doesn't build very quickly. And if I move too quickly, it loses track and it turns red. Simply back up the direction you came. It will find itself and continue to build the stitch. If you happen to leave a gap, you can go back and fill that in. I'm going to stop my stitching. And it will save the image here to the right. This is the live image. This is the saved image. And that is live image stitching. Thank you for watching this tutorial.